this is the energy vibration lays in for the Taurus Sun Moon and Rising it is the sixth week of the year 2018 and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back please like share thumbs up these videos and share these videos okay um, it is a week of the star it is an, um, an energy it's a very lucky week it's a very lucky week um, it's going to affect everyone because um, with the energy of the star and especially if you have in your birth chart um, the energy of the um, Aquarians Gemini or um, Librans you are going to have a surprising week a good week okay so you are let's look at your week you Tauruses to see what is happening for the Tauruses and um, we're calling in our angels and guides and universal angels the masters and godinas the ascendants masters and godinas to show the Tauruses what is happening for them in this week on Monday you have um, the energy of the heart and this is good okay you have the energy of the heart this is good to start your week off because you're an earth sign so you have the six of Pentacles you Tauruses and this is good okay so um this is a positive energy um, what is coming in for you Tauruses as you begin on Monday you have the energy of uh, the six of Pentacles this is good for you Taurus because it's an Earth sign and what this is saying for you guys is that it is um, going to be a positive week where some of you will be given some of you will be receiving but you begin the week with a positive energy oh my god then you have the eight of Pentacles so it's wonderful um, on Tuesday you have the eight of Pentacles this is wonderful because you'll be working very hard to balance out your financial needs and wants so this is good you're beginning the week uh, on a very positive notes you Tauruses as we look at Wednesday Wednesday we have the energy of the Queen of Swords in reverse she has been coming up and I've been shuffling the cards for so much so if you're having a situation with the energy of the Queen of Swords she is definitely in reverse she has no effect on you so it could be um, a supervisor it could be your wife it could be um, someone who you have to do business with but she is in the reverse form let's look at Wednesday you have um, judgment judgment is coming up um, that mean on Thursday information will be coming in and that we are going to look at okay on Friday let's see what's happening for the Tauruses you have temperance in reverse this is the energy vibration of a tall a Capricorn um, a woman and uh, this energy is in reverse so we're going to all take a look and see because all the women in um, this week uh, who have to deal with you Taurus is uh, the air energy and um, the uh, Capricorns are in reverse let's see what is happening you have the energy of the page of swords so a message is coming in and um, it can be a message that is coming in from a Capricorn woman <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't for you was it so, okay so let's look and see what's happening on Sunday on Sunday you have the energy of the devil in reverse which is good so you have only um, two major arcana okay and um, you have only two major arcana and your overall energy for the week is the page of Pentacles so this is going to be a good week for you Tauruses especially for the Tauruses that has air energy in their birth chart that mean if your birth chart Aquarius um, Gemini or Libra it's going to be a wonderful week for you guys okay so let's look and see what is happening um, the energy of the page of Pentacles coming in for you Tauruses is good we're going to look and see what is the message from the page of Pentacles your crown and energy is that a message is coming into you a message is coming in to you so we're going to look and see um, what is the energy of the message that is going to be coming into you okay so um, 
um, as we look at the first half of the week we have the energy of the six of Pentacles and um, the energy of the temperance which is the temperance is someone who is Capricorn or Virgo okay and it can yeah Capricorn or Virgo because temperance is Capricorn or Virgo okay but this person is in an uncle form and you're working very hard so this could be someone who their secretary is not feeling well and it won't be coming in in this week that sort of an energy is playing but this also could be someone who um, you need to, to help um, that um, you need to help out because they are not feeling well or that sort of an energy because they're in the reverse form and the page of Pentacles is here so you have twice the energy of the page of Pentacles so obviously um, there is money that is coming in because it is um, it, it, the, the page is bringing in money to you this one is given you are given out money you Tauruses some of you Tauruses will be um, giving out money this one is that the money is coming into you on Tuesday you're very um, in the middle of the week you're working very hard um, you have a message that is coming in from um, the Queen of Swords but she is in the reverse form so what this could be um, is that this message let's look and see what is this message all about the energy of the tower breaking down so this is good this is good because what is transpiring and what is happening is that you're working very hard and um, it's as if this person tried to block you in some way and what transpires here is that um, the energy of the tower came and break whatever that this person was working from out in three man three a three dimensional feel that mean that this person was working against you and now the tower came in and break that down and this effect is no longer going to be there as we look at the last um, the, the end of the week um, with this queen of um, um, Queen of Swords in a reverse form. This is a woman or a man that is over the age of 40 and is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And um, whatever has transpired, the energy of the tower as a, a bring her down, bring her down because you are going to um, receive this message and hear of this. And um, the energy as bring her down, and uh, as she was carrying the energy vibration of a low energy of the three dimensional field, which is greed, lies, jealousy. And now that is coming down, and you're going to get receive a message about it. And uh, this is it the, the message that you're going to receive is that this lady was lying and deceiving the ten of swords she lies deceive and jealousy and this is what I just said so now this is in the reverse form so this is good this is a wonderful way of uh, um, letting you see what was transpiring and what was happening so um, overall whatever that was transpiring whatever the situation was with the queen of um, this this the queen of swords she was she was lying she was deceiving she stabs you in the back and she carries the energy vibration of the lower energy vibration of the three-dimensional and you are going to receive a message about this and know exactly what was happening and what she did okay it's going to come out it's as if uh, the universe is going to let you know exactly what was happening and what she did okay so it's as if you had a friend and she did something or there was someone who lied about something and it's all going to come out okay so let's see what is happening between the energies of the six of Pentacles and the eight of Pentacles you have a strong foundation you have a very very strong foundation so just keep on plunging or going forward and moving forward because it's going to bring you um, success okay let's see what is happening between the eight of Pentacles and the Queen the knight of Pentacles is coming because what has transpired is that you have worked hard very hard and now 
because um, if you realize every one of these energies of the Pentacles money is coming forward um, this is the night of Pentacles that is bringing money and this money is coming slowly but surely and now that the um, this person who was an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius is in the reverse form it's as if your money is going to start flowing it's as if this lady has something to do with the form of the flow of your money let's see what is a judgment for her against your justice scheme and isn't this wonderful this is a wonderful reading it's as if the messages are coming out so justice prevail over this lady this lady is an older lady and um, for you know because you know it's thousands of you so it's going to affect you in different ways so um, whoever is this lady or this man over the age of 40 who is an Aquarius some of you can be affected by the Aquarius people some of you can be affected by uh, the Gemini people and some of you can be affected by the Librans but whatever happened the gem the, the um, justice prevail over this person so if you look at this section of the reading um, you are seeing that whoever um, you were dealing with whether it was a man or a woman because it's going to be different for each person and these are air sign people whatever lies that they have told because it's the queen of um, swords in the reverse the devil is in reverse so obviously she was working on a lower three-dimensional level and you are going to be receiving this information because information is going to be coming because it's the energy of judgment bringing you this information to let you know what was transpiring but justice came in so this person is really in some serious problem let's see what is happening between the the, the Capricorn or Virgo woman and the page of swords it was a karmatic situation with you and this Capricorn or Virgo it is it is good because she hasn't done anything it was as if for some of you this relationship is just going to end and not knowing why um, it's nothing it's just that this person just needs to um, move forward it is as if uh, this person um, it was a karmatic situation that needed to be healed it was a short time whatever has transpired and uh, um, it was very short but yet still there is no hard feelings it's just that um, you're on another journey and she's on another journey okay so um, it's, 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 it's nothing to be alarmed about she has no ill feelings you have no ill feelings it's just that you both are on um, to a different energy vibration okay and the last card you have is that um, um, there is love because um, she is as if um, you know this 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 Virgo or Capricorn person is saying you know um, no hard feeling I, I do care about you but my journey is different than yours okay so uh, this is good this is a very good ending um, your week okay that's the last and what it is saying is that it is um, money is coming to you guys all the money is coming in okay <laughs> so this is good for you ladies money is um, you're going to be paying um, for you ladies you're given money you're given money so it could be a situation that has transpired between you and a Virgo or a Capricorn and it was a karmatic situation but it, it, it has nothing to do with it's not as if you two were in conflicts is as if someone else brought you to in conflicts and what is happening now is that you are saying you know something I'm paying her she didn't really do anything and you know whatever has transpired it was not very nice so let's just you know really deal with this situation and end it because it is very a nice person so it's as if both of you are sending each other love and it's as if both of you really care about each other but there was an influence that comes in and this could be either one of your partners 
that has bring um, conflicts between you two and what I'm receiving is that these two women were family and because of a business situation that didn't go well there is a kind of separation but yet still they have no hard feeling against you both have no hard feelings against each other because it has nothing to do with you but it has something to do with like um, your husband or your wife and this is why it transpired but it is ending on a good note because you two women are um, understanding that you know I still care about you um, whatever has transpired I have nothing to do with us so um, this is this is actually very good because um, it's, it's good when you know the love and this is what people do not understand because this is a karmatic situation this is a karmic situation that you ladies over the age of 40 have with someone who is a Taurus or a Virgo and this person has turned their back to you and and you know move forward so they're in a reverse position but move forward but I'm still holding love still holding love um, within themselves okay so this is actually going to be very good so nothing to worry about that okay the middle portion and the soul the focus of this is the energy of the tower and the energy of the tower comes in in the middle of your reading because it's actually like it's it's, it's removing this person over the age of 40 who is an air and and and, and uh, Aquarius and Leo or a, or a Gemini and it's as if they're you know you're moving they're moving out of your aspect because they have lied sorry they have lied and justice as um, justice has um, you know um, whatever is is, 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 a, is as if they are found out they they were found out and um, the situation is going to end so it's as if this is ending on a good note in the sense that um, whoever this woman is she has created a lot of chaos and now this is over and this is good okay so the positive thing about this reading um, because five it's a whole lot of new beginnings there's a whole lot of endings and new beginnings that is happening here a whole lot of endings and new beginnings that is happening here a whole lot of endings and new beginnings that are happening here so it's a week of endings and beginning and this is going to be um, you know good in a sense because you're healing something so let's move forward and see what the Oracle have to say what is the message for the Oracle no place like home so you're coming in this week and you know thinking there is no place like home this is where I need to be this is uh, what I need to be doing this is the place that I should be in at this moment and this is good because this is what you're going to come in this week thinking for yourself there is no place like home I know who I am I know what is happening I know where I should be and this is um, a very very good um, the energy of um, this no place like home is a positive wonderful energy because what is happening is that you are connecting with yourself you're connecting with your mighty I am present so let's see what you're going out this week with the eight of one so a lot of wonderful messages um, is going to be um, coming in a lot of text messages a lot of invitation um, is going to be coming in a lot of mails um, positive wonderful messages will be coming in so this is going to be good so whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring um, your end of the week going out with good news um, good news will be coming in so this is going to be good so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you um, thank you for being here 
um, thank you for being back it's going to be positive it's going to be really a positive wheel so not to worry um, about what is happening okay so I want to say to each and every person um, namaste until next week